Hey gang, welcome back to another video here at Joe Daddy's Garage. I've been making these little short videos, or I call them short videos, uh, of various things that I'm putting together on the car. I've done one on the seal for the deck lid, I've done one installing the extensions, I've done one putting in the door locks. I'm going to do one putting in the taillights. Why not? You know? Uh, if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, and don't forget to hit that like button. That's pretty important. Okay, so what I've done so far is I took the old housings and I media blasted these, cleaned them up, and I just painted them silver, you know, just to make them look nice when you open up the trunk. These appear to be universal, left and right. I don't see any identification that says left and right, so I'm going to assume, assume, they fit either side. So I'm reusing those housings. I have new heavy thick uh, insert. This is um, this goes around. It's a real weird piece. Let me get out of this bag. It's labeled as taillight housing to body seal. So this is going to go on the inside and seal up against the inside of the car. It's also going to hold or help hold the new taillight lenses in place and I also have a pair of gaskets that are going to go inside and I have brand new Scott Drake trim pieces now these trim pieces they're really nice you know they, they have a of course a new gasket and everything really nice um, but the thing I've noticed is they give you two new pieces of all thread, you know, mount, mount studs, but they don't give you the nuts. So I guess you have to salvage those from the old uh, chrome pieces. So I'm just going to thread these in. Nothing to it. These are the old ones, so I'll salvage the nuts off of these. And I'll point out too that the new gasket has a little bit of excess on it, you know, so you may have to trim that. Uh, when you get it in place, it might stick out some, and really it's just a matter of pulling off that little bit of excess. You, I guess you could probably find other ways to do it, but this seems to work. And then, of course, that fits inside of the studs. Again, I don't think there's necessarily an up or a down on these. It looks like the same shape all the way through. So I'll set that aside for the moment. Pull out one of the gray gaskets. And, you know, I haven't, I haven't really looked, I don't remember taking these apart very much, but uh, it appears, it would seem, that that gray gasket's going to go inside. And then, your lens, it only makes sense, follows the shape, pretty simple. And then, the big, heavy, chunky seal thing. That's a beast. And it looks like it's... It's got a form to it as well, so I'll just slip that on and see see if it goes around the uh, the lens is okay. You know what I might have to do? Now that I think about it, I might be further ahead putting this on the lens first. That's just a big big thick chunk of rubber okay <laughs> I was fighting with it and I'll probably still be fighting with it however I, I discovered something while I was fighting with it and this is something I forgot that they were in the box and I didn't realize it but there are a series of six screws that go around the perimeter of the lens to hold it to the uh, the housing. 
so I need to get those in first. I've said it before, right? Sequence is scored. You gotta know where things go. So anyway, there's six of those. I'll put all of them in around the perimeter and we'll try again. Ta-da! Alright, I'm going to try again with this chunky gasket. I don't think the screws are going to help any, honestly. You know, as far as making it fit better, but they're part of the part of the system. So it appears that based on the old gasket, because I still have the old gasket with rust and junk on it. I mean, I, maybe I have to use that. I don't know. I'd hate to have, have to clean all that junk off of there, but you can see that it's really compressed. Like, it was recessed into the, the grooves on the taillight lens, and even the where the screws were, it was really compressed around those. And, of course, it's supposed to create a seal around, you know, the openings here. So, maybe, just maybe, I just have to kind of line things up and try to get one of the, one of the uh, bezels in place and just hold it. And maybe that's all it takes. Because wow, there's there's hardly any thread showing or sticking through on the back side. But now you know why they're so long. Because of all the extra junk with the foam. I'm surprised they don't send you the a new set of, of nuts for these. I'm really surprised. It's a snug fit. Nuts are 11 30 seconds, by the way. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Okay, this looks really nice. Really nice. And it's going to look even better when I take this back off and put the trim on. <laughs> I knew something was missing. 
but now I know it's a trim little piece right there but not a big deal that's easy enough unbolt swap it on be done so anyway just know it's gonna take a little effort to get these on but boy does this look nice I'm very happy with it so anyway I'll keep doing some trying to do these little videos and uh, try to post more and try to keep you motivated as well so yeah all right that's gonna be it thanks for watching and until next time take care of yourselves see ya